<laughs> Such foolish human. You think you're strong enough to face me? I will banish you strike into the shadow realm, you weakling. Come and then uh What? Alicia? Oh damn, what is it on already? What did you tell me? Uh I mean hi <laughs> audience. <laughs> uh what's that? Uh I just doing some rehearsal. Practicing some acting I guess. Nothing important, so uh, anyway. Welcome back to Kill or Love. My name is Ordinary. So last episode, uh, surprisingly, Grace and Anna become friends. And uh, I guess Jack uh, doesn't happy about it. To be honest, the last episode is kind of slow, so hopefully, this episode gonna be more intense. But surely the tension is keep building up. I cannot wait to continue, so I guess let's just do this then. Let's go! Okay, so this is the last time we uh, uh, we edit the episode. Dear Diary, I found him. It was beautiful. It was like fate. It was fate. Okay, uh, I assume this is the uh, Anna's diary. I assume. Maybe it's Chris. As soon as I came to this city, I caught his scent in the air. A little. But mostly, I smell homeless people and gasoline. What the hell? <laughs> you like the smell of homeless people and gasoline? You probably ga gonna love the smell of otaku. <laughs> Why did you go all the way of here, Jack? Yeah, it's, it's probably Anna. You love nature. You smell of pines. Where we grew up. So is Jack's like Lorax who talks to the tree? <laughs> I was ready to spend weeks looking for you, Jack. Or months. Years if I had to. I even got a job at the hospital here. Oh yeah, so it's uh, Anna Confirm. They are understaffed. So it was so it was easy. GG easy Nori. <laughs> but there you were. In the first store I went to. I didn't even go in to look for you. Fade, fade, fade. But you were a little strange. Surely, surely you recognize me? I haven't changed that much, have I? I mean, it's been a while, and I have tried to make myself pretty for you. Oh, I don't like the way she said it. In every way I can think of. But you knew it was me, right? I knew it was you. You haven't forgotten me. Were you pretending? Playing a game? At 3am challenge? <laughs> yes, that must be it. Well, I love to wait and see what you are doing, dear, darling, but I've been a patient girl for far too long. Dear Diary Friday Jack Friday I know he changed his name to that, but it's just so funny, isn't it? We'll have to check it Change it back, Jack, for when we are married. What? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> so they, they were married? I want the real one to follow my first name. 
Jack Friday. It made me giggle when I saw it in your employee records, darling. I just had a peek. Nothing more, liar. Just to see where you live. I wanted to follow you home at first, but then I thought, hey, will it be, wouldn't it be instantly romantic if the next time I saw you, we live right next to each other? No, that's creepy, what the hell? <laughs> I know you're playing your, your little game, and you don't know me anymore. I mean, uh, off you don't know me anymore. But that's not too much, is it? Being neighbors? You won't be angry, right? Nah, no, sure. Jack's gonna be really happy, Anna. I'm, sh I'm sure of it. Even if it makes you angry, I have to at least do this, right? I can't wait anymore. I am tired of being by myself. I've waited this long, Our Lady. I prefer for you so much. Maybe you won't be mad. Please don't be mad. Please. Wanna guy, darling? Arara. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes. One other thing, darling. Oh, she actually don't call him dar darling. That street where you live, isn't it in a terrible part of town? Rundown and cheap, and even dangerous. Not as dangerous as around you, Anna. I haven't been here for long, but I think that's right. Is the part of your game too and working in the store that must be it as well oh I guess Anna uh, keep in her own delusion about the perfect male called Jack someone like you should never work there instead you should be a cause I can't even imagine what. And isn't that perfect? I don't want you working anywhere. I want you all for me. Uh, house husband. Dear diary. The street is worse than I thought. God, the smell. smell of poor people yuck <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm sorry it was a joke do you really know what you're doing Jack no no I shouldn't doubt you I know the rent is cheap at least very cheap I mean uh, judging by the background for a cheap rent it's actually look nice but more importantly than that or anything else there was a vacancy right next door to your apartment. I can't wait to move in. We'll be neighbors. I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you so much of you. It will make me drunk. Damn, that's creepy. I mean, look at the background. I guess it's just because of background, but it looks decent. I guess for the uh, for a chip apartment in the downtown I, I won't complain dear diary what a beautiful dump I said this to the landlord when I broke my things here I broke I mean he thought I was complaining he said I should have checked out the apartment before I rented in He's an idiot. There could be a swarm of rats or, or roaches living in the apartment. 
or crack a dick for that matter and I wouldn't give a dare a darn but still I can keep it dirty forever I have to practice my homemaking skill I don't like the way it says time to make this dumb a home Dear Diary Just get back from a quick jog, gotta stay in shape, and the brownies are just about done. What if I'm actually super innocent girl but uh, Jack uh, has like some delusion that makes Anna look super spooky? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I know, I know. I still have to keep an eye on them. Of course. Wait, so that means she already knew. Before Jack mentioning Anna. Uh, I mean mentioning Grace. But I've been doing this for long enough, you know? The brownies are perfect. Not burn, not raw. Just right. Good job, I guess. <laughs> I hope he likes them. The music gun. Check. I don't know if I can go on. Who is this girl? Oh, so she didn't know. Ah, uh, my bad. I am the one for you. The only one for you. And yet, you... I know this is part of your plan, but you didn't have to do it this way. Why are you being so cruel? Hidoi. <laughs> Hidoi yo. I have work now. I don't care. I'll go sleep. Oh, so she actually heartbroken. Dear diary, I cried. I cried all the bad feelings out. Things don't seem nearly as bad now. Jack is testing me, so I have to show him I have what it takes. This is nothing at all. I can do this. Now when I read it, uh, I guess they want me to feel bad to Anna, I don't know. Maybe Jack is uh, actually delusion, uh, delusional, no in hallucination and thinking Anna is threatening him. Dear Diary, I met her today. Grace, I hope she doesn't get in the way, she's a sweet girl. But she's clumsy. She dropped a plate. My plate too. Of cookies. And there were cookies and broken pieces of porcelain everywhere. I'm pretty clumsy too, I guess. I cut myself on a shirt when I tried to pick it up. Jack came in. Just as I got cut. <laughs> No, Anna, that's not it. He, he must have sensed I was hurt. Oh, it's getting red. There was a lot of blood for a wound so small. Oh yeah, so that means there's actually a, a, a blood traumatized him. Traumatized Jack. The blood reminded me of that time. It always does. I show it to Jack. He looked like he was going to vomit. 
great acting Jack no what the hell <laughs> oh yeah I guess there is something uh, there's uh, definitely something wrong with her head Daisuke this <laughs> Daisuke I'm sorry <laughs> Dear Diary I've gotten better at playing along with Jack's little game I see him a lot more now Everywhere I go Nearly half of the times I'm not even trying to make our path cross Fate I prefer Arknight, sorry <laughs> I'm also seeing Grace a lot more She always asking me to go somewhere with her or to chat And she will always she is always coming over to my apartment without Jack She's become a real bother honestly But I Agnes That girl tells me things about Jack after all So of course she doesn't know anything about him that I don't That's because she doesn't really know Jack But now I know what he is pretending to be like He told Grace that he had he has amnesia The dark descent <laughs> It's a little unoriginal Jack don't you think That's okay though she believes you That dumb little Don't say that to Grace Rude I know what you want, you want to say and Oh no The music's gone I'm not ready Dear diary I'm troubled I'm starting to think that Jack is not pretending what if he really has forgotten all about me? No, I can't have that. I need a sign, Jack. Just one little sign. So that I know you remember. One sign. Anything is fine. Dear Diary Jack doesn't remember me Oh no What you gonna do Anna? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it, of it now He doesn't remember anything Darn But that's a good thing He hasn't been acting cold on purpose I'll give his memory a little joke And they'll be dead Good as new But This also means that he is serious about that grass girl We can't have uh, we can't have that No no I'm starting to see her true colors she is a filthy seductress, alright, little succubus. She is also an idiot, baka. <laughs> she invited me for dinner tomorrow at her apartment. Their apartment. Her and Jack's apartment. The apartment they, were, they are sharing together. Without me. Oh, oh, we're back. August 16. Terrible day, really awkward. Anna was hovering around me all day. I swear, she was here for more than two shifts. 
How the bell does that work? <laughs> I love how he censored that. Or is it a typo from the devs? Is it a typo, isn't it? Huh? Oh! I don't know, is it a typo or uh, it's actually how Jack's right now, you know, like a messy handwriting because he's in pet or something? That would be awesome if, uh, if they do that detail. I couldn't write at all. See only... Oh, he, yeah, I... Okay, he, they doing, uh, the devs doing that on purpose. That's cool. I love that small detail. I love when, the, when uh, they put a small detail in the game to make the, mo the game more immersive. In this case of visual novel, but it's still cool. I love it. She's only gone now, and it's after midnight. I guess I should mark this as uh, 17 then, not the 16. Oh, who cares? Oh, yeah. I mean, like I said the last episode, uh, you, you can see, you can sense, uh, Jack's condition just by how he writes the uh, the note. That's cool. I love it. Now I have to write in the dark, but that's fine. Oh, because he's writing in the dark. I see. I don't see it being a problem. It's not about the writing. It's about the intention, I guess. <laughs> So not long after, did I write about how Anna came to see me at the store that one time? So I uh, read it as a uh, straightforward with the typo. No, I don't want to. It's it's pain. <laughs> yeah, I did. Not long after that, Grace invited Anna over for dinner. She could have told me before asking Anna. Not that I wouldn't say no. I didn't have an excuse to say no. But I mean, she only told me about the dinner after a few hours before it. Yes, I was preparing for a really, uh, really relaxed evening. And all of a sudden, Grace says we should start making dinner. And oh no, I mean, oh no, <laughs> I'm, so, <laughs> I'm so sorry, maybe like, oh no, uh, I don't know, I, I cannot do the uh, Joseph's voice, I forgot how to tell you, check, I shouldn't be so bitter and childish, people forget. It happens. Especially you. She didn't mean anything bad by it. It still rubbed me the wrong way though. Anna was going to invade my invade my home and be there for hours. And I'm pretty sure I had every right to be angry about that. No, I'm sure. I sh I should have sent her packing the first time I saw her. And then when we move in next to us, I mean when she moved in next to us. <laughs> Why I misread when the, the, the word is uh, perfectly normal, what the hell? <laughs> and a million times after, the, after that. I should have. The fault is mine. So yeah, dinner. I mean, dimer. <laughs> the food tastes amazing, Jack. Thanks. I barely met anything. That's not true, is it? You were in charge of the rice. 
I mean, <laughs> as long as you don't rinse the rice, it's fine. Yeah, the rice. It ended up mushy. I think it's delicious. Anna ate it like it was the tastiest thing in the world. An idea popped into my mind. If I bore her, she might leave early. Nah, there's no way. I know it's it's a good uh, try, but no. I don't think she will be bored around you, Jack. Thanks. But the chicken is much better. And it's incredible how you could make anything this decent. Decent, I mean. In the oven, we have grace. Oh, don't talk about the oven, Jack. Hazukashi yo. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll bet you never seen a greasier oven, Anna. Matak. I try to clean it. Mo. <laughs> but nothing works. I don't know what the previous owner did. To make it that dirty. And that's not even the biggest problem, is it, you said? Uh, yes. The light in the oven barely works. I mean, at least you have a you, uh, you have oven, I don't have one. I cannot break, uh, I cannot bake any bread because of it. And don't get me started. On the heating, it's so sketchy. Yeah, yeah, all of that. <clears throat> and you still manage to make something this good. Maybe the recipe is the grease in the oven. It's evaporate and <laughs> I <laughs> and absorb it by the the chicken. What do you say, Anna? It's tasty. It reminds me of home. Oh, that's your plan, Anna. Have you tried remembering what what home was like, Jack? I swallow, choke, and cough. Uh, I mean, <coughs> the fuck you say? <laughs> I, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? What's with that all of all of a sudden? Anna smiled and went on eating. I was just wondering. No, I have not tried to remember what home was like. I don't see why I have to. I'm fine without it. And without you, Anna. Oh, I like. It's a shame, though. So? I mean, tough. Um, Jack? Yeah? Yes, darling? <laughs> oh, I, I hope he said that just to make Anna angry. I'm with Anna on this one. Oh, that's your plan, Anna? You are? Oh, yes. Even after you said you were fine with me deciding what's going on in my head, I, I'm trying to think of what's best for you. Something that's uh, best forgotten, Grace, you know, like ancient tomb with ancient curse. <laughs> that's right. You can't spend your life running away from the past. Maybe running away from you. Face it now. Be a man. It's not healthy to lock so much of yourself away. It can't be. You have to agree, Jack. 
I didn't reply. I was eviscerating. Is that how you say it? I'm sorry. A chicken drumstick. Anna, um, I know. I didn't tell you this, but at night, at least once a week, check. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm preparing myself. <clears throat> That's enough! I banged my fist on the table. Then was immediately ashamed that I lost my temper. But I couldn't back down. This has got to do with me. And me only. Stay the hell out of it. Both of you. Oh no. He also angry with Chris. Okay, I swear if uh, if um, the last time Jack and Grace met before he was office hospitalized when when they are fighting, oh my god, I'm gonna lose it. Do you understand? Hmm. Why are you so? Ah, damn it! <laughs> I never got this angry before. I needed to be uh to be alone. I walk off to another room, but then that didn't help. I could still hear their murmurs and their whispering. They were talking about me. I dress in a hurry. Huh? What are you? Are you going out, Jack? I nodded. Why are you so happy, Anna? Did, did is is it the last time I met? Uh, I saw. Grace, I see Grace. I swear, Anna. <laughs> Did you take the opportunity? Have fun. Wait, don't go. I I'm sorry. I I keep insisting so much. You know, I'm trying to help, right? Yeah. Then, please don't be mad. I couldn't stop being angry. No talk to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. It was stronger than me. Um, can you do just one thing for me? Just so I know I did all I could. Do what? Can you say you're fine with No, please say that you don't want to remember. Oh no, Jack, what what have you done? You make Chris sad. I guess this is the first time I see Chris uh, sad. Can you do that for me? Of course. I love you, Chris. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hesitated longer than I thought I would. Suddenly, it struck me I was being childish as hell. But in the end, my anger and my stubbornness won over. I don't want to remember. There. Are you happy now? Oh, rude. I wanted things to stay as they were. That's all I wanted. For nothing to change. Because for once, I was happy. Oh. I... Well? 
I'm sorry. Oh damn. Oh, uh, this is the last time they they see each other. Uh isn't it? I'm sure. It's gonna be this is the flag. You should be. I woke up. By the time I came back. God damn it! Really? Oh no! <laughs> oh why? Why she's gone when we're when they're fighting? Okay, okay. Think positive. Ordinary. Think positive. Maybe Grace was gone to uh to stay with Anna for the chit chat. Maybe it's not the last time. By the time I came back, Chris was gone. No, it's Chris already gone, huh? Anna kidnapped her. Really? Oh, oh my god. I mean, <laughs> that's harsh, man. August 17th. I came back hours later after a little drinking and a lot of pointless wandering. The apartment was empty. Her things were gone. But I only realized that after I read the letter. The letter was on the table next to our half-finished dinner. There was a key next to the letter, too. A key to the apartment. I remember the letter word for word, so why don't I write it down here? For the ending, I mean? <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, I, I, I thought he doesn't want to write it in the note, so we wouldn't know until the end, I'm sorry. <laughs> Check, I, it said. I can't stay with you anymore. You're only going to make yourself more miserable. And I can't help you. And I can't watch you do this to yourself. I pray there's someone who can help you. Like I couldn't. And I hope you'll be happy. Oh no! Chris leave? Oh, that hurts. But maybe this is a fake letter uh, brought by Anna and Grace actually kidnapped somewhere. Goodbye. Your final message. Grace didn't need to sign the message. I wouldn't recognize those neat letters anywhere. I'd seen the same handwriting during our brief years together on dozens, if not hundreds, of little notes. Oh no. Shift schedules, reminders to buy snacks or milk, things like that. They were in fact at least half a dozen of the yellow post-its she used still around the apartment. Seeing them hurt. There were a lot of things Grace hadn't taken with her too. Socks, pants, a few undershifts, a scarf, one pair of shoes, a sweater she really liked too. She would have worn the sweaters while napping in the evening. It was all evidence of how much of a hurry She'd been, she been in to get away from me. Now, I know better. She's not run away. Oh god damn it! Minasan, Ohio. <laughs> the patients all greet her. I do too. Well, well. I am happy to see you finally stop being Mr. Grumpy. 
Well, you know. Do you feel better? I don't feel my leg anymore, nurse. Help me. <laughs> Does the leg still hurt? I'm little better. I guess. At peace. That's great. You'll be you'll be up on your feet in no time. I'm sure. Free to come back home. I love like hell. Oh no. Is he broke? Anna probably doesn't see what's so funny. She smells vacantly. I guess she does love me in her own way. It doesn't matter though. Remembering the pain she caused me has given me conviction. My heart is set on killing her. Oh yeah, that's the plan. I kinda forgot it. It's been a while. August 18. My health vastly improving. Doctor's word, words does. And I feel it. I don't wake up at night so much anymore. Choking on pain. And I don't get so angry anymore that I have to chew my own finger so I don't end up shouting. I really am at peace. I know what to do. And I know I have to do it. I feel like I don't have a choice in the matter. I am a train going down a set of tracks at a few hundred miles per hour. No turns, no brakes. Whatever happens, will happen. Damn. It's strangely calming. For now, I'll keep on writing. I know a good point to stop. When it's all over. After Grace left, I spent uh, I spent that first night alone on the kitchen floor. Oh damn, that's sad. It was where my legs happened to give in under me after hours of walking back and forth in the apartment. I had passed around like a caged animal, looking under pillows and carpets and poking my head in the closets. I don't know why. You just love a uh, lost part of yourself. Maybe I thought I find her there. <laughs> that would be funny. I woke up in the after afternoon with a blanket over me. God damn it, Anna! I thought that Grace had done it. That she'd come back. She hadn't. I guess it must have been Anna. Oh come on, you didn't lock your door? Or uh, is Anna has the duplicate? I didn't go to work. I didn't eat. I don't remember drinking any water. Oh no, stay hydrated folks. Don't be like Jack right now. But I must have. And I must have sleep a lot too. It turned out I needed Grace more than I thought I did. Just like the watchman say, uh, the treasure is the friends we make along the way. <laughs> That's not it. I mean the the one that uh, you realize how precious the uh, thing after it lost. Certainly more than than she needed me. I was all alone all day, that night, and the day after, too, right up until the evening. That's when C met her move. The windows were closed, and the blinds were drawn. It must have been stuffy and hot in the apartment. 
I lay on the couch, shivering. I held my chest. Uh, I mean, I held to my chest the sweater Grace had left. I was about to slip into uncomfort uncomfortable sleep when the front door opened. Come on, did did you lock the door? My heart skipped a bit before the sight of a person coming in disappointed me. Oh, cute dress. What? Uh, credit where it's uh, where it's due, I guess. Where the cre where credits due? <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello. Check. I stared at her. What's wrong? Stare. G. She tried to get me to talk, but I was not in a talking mood. Eventually, she found the letter still on the table. Pretended to find it. Oh, Jack. You freaking liar, there's no way. I mean, she's already gone for days and you just try, uh, you just, oh no, I found, I, I never knew. Are you best friend? You snake. Oh, Jack. Oh, darling. Go scram. Scram, you filthy lady. You're hurt, I know. She's terrible, isn't she? To have hurt you so badly. Sis, the sweater was soft against my skin. It smelled of her. I know, I know. She's awful. Don't you dare say that, Anna. Let me help. She broke her hand near my face, uh, near to my face. I turned my head away. I am the only one who can make you happy, you know? You won't have to remember that girl ever again. Oh, I got goosebumps. You won't want to. I promise. Her hand found my cheek. It had been two days since. Uh, I last seen Grace, at last touched her, but it was like I had already forgotten a person's warmth. I raised my head to bed hers away, and I found out I couldn't do it. I instead, I put my hands on hers. Oh, she got you, damn. She successfully throw persuasion check. God damn it. I was close to tears. <laughs> uh, no, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> there were so many emotions in me that confused and overwhelmed me. But Anna was here. And she was whispering that she'd never leave. Uh... <laughs> uh... God damn it! I mean... Uh... I mean, she's pretty, but ah, oh, what a waste, man! Ah, oh, I don't know. It 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 makes me uncomfortable. Like there is something stuck on my uh lungs, and it cannot get out. Oh, 
I mean, I feel disgusted. I guess. Damn. But credit where is uh where is two? I I mean, nice move, Anna. You did it. You sick bastard. I don't want to say it. I'm sorry. Afterwards, I use the sweater to wipe the sweat off of me. Anna lay next to me, soft and warm, but her arms wrap around one of mine. What lesson do we have today? Uh, just get a waifu, man. She will never uh, betray you. But on the other hand, Anna is us uh, to the anime character, so she counts as, as waifu. So I was wrong. What am I saying? In the morning after the long, long night, Anna looked to me and asked me a question. I'm tired, aren't you? Uh huh. I won't go to work today. I'll call it. I'll call it sick. What about you? I don't know. I won't go to work. I hadn't thought of. Uh, I I haven't thought at all about work. It was so irrelevant. That's a good idea. Hey, I'm going to my apartment. I want to have a nice hot shower. Of course, Anna. I know she, she wants to say it. Come with? Sure, yes. Oh, damn, Jack! My apartment had a perfectly working shower, of course, but I didn't want to be on myself. I was scared. After I had a shower at her place, Anna told me I could stay there a while. Until you feel better, she told me. What do you say? I said yes. After that's how it went. I mean after that house. Never mind. I don't feel shame for what I did. I know I should, but I don't. Damn. The problem is, I don't really feel like I did any of that. It's more like I watch. Uh, I was watching myself do those things, watching myself get tricked and cheat on Grace, and live with that woman who's caused so much misery to so many people. So many people. I know I should be ashamed. It's a disgusting thing I did, and I can't take it back. I let myself be made into an animal. That one wall one is something I like to forget and to never remember. So I won't write it about uh, I won't write about it or about anything more. Are you done? You done, huh? I've written enough. I'm done. This journal has helped me a lot, but I don't need it anymore. This is dead. It's goodbye. So, goodbye, my friend. GF, Jack's Friday. Oh, what you gonna do? I woke up and found the room dark.
Ah, oh. it's already chapter five, huh? Oh, okay. I, uh, I want to continue, but it's gonna be so long. Ah. Uh. Oh, uh, wait. Let me check. How long was I recording now? Oh no, it's. I think it's long enough. Oh, uh, but I want to continue. <laughs> but I think it's. Uh, we're almost in the climax, so. I'm afraid next chapter is gonna be too long, so I'm gonna end this video right here. Ah, uh, okay. I I love the, I love this part. It's so fun. But unfortunately, I don't want to make the video too long and uh, make it because uh, my my internet is sucks, so it will take so much time to upload it. So be patient. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna play it. Uh, as soon as I can but uh, for today that's it thank you very much for watching this video uh, if you like this video please consider to like and subscribe I really appreciate it and it makes me happy when I sleep <laughs> and uh, so yeah uh, I see you guys later and have a lucky day.